This is the Mahindra XUV 3XO and it's effectively the facelifted version of the Mahindra XUV 300 as we knew it. But a lot has changed, particularly on the outside. A lot has changed on the inside, a lot more features. So we'll talk of all of these details one by one in this quick walkthrough video. Now your first hint that this is way more than just a mildly made over XUV300 comes from the front end. The front end is completely redone. That subtle styling that you got on the XUV300 is gone and this gets a very extroverted look. I can't say I'm really a fan of it, but there are a lot of people who will like it. So what do you get? You get these larger headlights, you get these pretty pronounced LED DRLs, projector headlight units. The grill is closed off, the actual air intakes are lowered down. The bumper is redone as well. And uh, Mahindra says that the angle of the bonnet gives you greater visibility from the driver's seat. Something which we'll verify when we actually drive the car. Now it's at the sides that the XUV 3XO doesn't look all too different from the XUV 300, which means length is still just under 4 meters long. The proportions are the same, everything is the same. But what has changed are these alloy wheels, 17 inches of a new look and ground clearance is now up to 201 millimeters. Now because the overall length hasn't changed, you still get this very abrupt ending rear end, something which has been carried over from the XUV 300 as well. But Mahindra's stylists have done a pretty good job of giving this a fresh new look and helping that are these LED light bar that runs across the width of the tailgate and it looks really nice, gives the XUV 3XO a very distinctive signature. Also lower down, you'll find that the bumper is new and generally it's got a beefier look to it. Now an area of weakness on the XUV 300 was always boot capacity. And because there have been no changes to the exterior dimensions, boot capacity is comparable. However, Mahindra says some changes have been made. The tail section has been reprofiled a bit on the inside to give a bit more room. And Mahindra is also confident to tell us that space up till the seat height is comparable to rivals. Again, something which we'll verify when we have a lot of luggage. But yeah, at first sight, it does look less than what rivals offer. Now on the inside, Mahindra has clearly taken steps to make this feel like a very premium space, almost a lot classier than what you get on rivals. So you get soft touch materials on the dash, textured plastics, this double stitched look on the dashboard, perforated leather at seats. It's got the works. These light colors also work really well. Lots of gloss materials on the dashboard as well. Now, technology wise, a lot of enhancements, a 10.2 inch touchscreen much nicer to use than the old one uh, that you got on the older XUV 300. You also get digital dials, again, 10.2 inches. Look a lot nicer and almost seem to be off an XUV 700. So think about it, you're getting features from a much pricier SUV at this price point. Of the other things, you get dual zone climate control and the big addition is a panoramic sunroof. This aside, there are also camera and radar based ADAS functions, which is a first in this segment. The XUV 3XO's front seats are nice and large and you also get a pretty commanding view of the road ahead of you. The ridges on the bonnet are in clear sight and give you the feel of being in an SUV. Now there's been no change to rear seat space and as before, one of the highlights on the XUV 3XO is the width at the back. This is perhaps the most accommodating seat for three adults in the compact SUV space. Legroom is also decent, but one thing of note is that the panoramic sunroof doesn't extend all the way back and is somewhere between the front and rear seats. Now, as for features at the back, you get three point seat belts for all seats, adjustable headrest for all three passengers, the rear aircon vents, there's a 12 volt charging socket, and you also get a USB type C charging socket now. Now, as for the panoramic sunroof, yes, it is unique in the class, but it doesn't extend all the way back. In addition to what I've covered, the XUV 3XO in top spec AX7 L trim gets a 7-speaker Harman Kardon sound system with a subwoofer, LED headlamps, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a wireless phone charger, connected tech and drive modes. The XUV 3XO also builds on the XUV 300's safety credentials. Six airbags and ESC are standard, while higher up the range you get a 360-degree camera, tire pressure monitor and ADAS as I've mentioned. 
The radar and camera based ADA suite includes auto emergency braking, lane keep assist, high beam assist, and more. You can bet Mahindra will provide the XUV 3XO for a global NCAP or Bharat NCAP rating and will be gunning for a full 5 stars in adult occupant protection and child occupant protection. Like the XUV 300, the XUV 3XO is also on offer with three engine options. There's a 1.2 litre 110 horsepower turbo petrol engine, there's a more powerful 1.2 litre turbo petrol direct injection engine that makes 130 horsepower. Now, this engine gets a six speed manual transmission, but new to the range is a six speed torque converter automatic transmission with this engine. Diesel lovers also have and the option of a 1.5 litre unit. It makes 117 horsepower, gets a six speed manual transmission and there's also the option of a six-speed AMT. All details on the table now. Mahindra has announced prices for the XUV 3XO and the pricing is killer. It starts at 7.49 lakh rupees, which undercuts many of its rivals if you go feature to feature, spec to spec. Here's the full price list as we know so far. So that's the first look of the Mahindra XUV 3XO for you. Do you think it can make a dent in the compact SUV space and take on the likes of the Tata Nexon, Maruti Brezza, Hyundai Venue, Kia Sonnet and more? Let us know in the comment section below. Let us know what you think of the way it looks. Let us know what you think of the value proposition. Our full review of the XUV 3XO goes live on the 2nd of May. So please mark those calendars. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the Autocar India channel. Give this video a like and hit that bell icon to be notified every time we have a new video up.